guys, it's Sabo at SOS Kitchen, and today we're making some bone marrow. This is one of my favorite dishes to get at restaurants, but it can be pretty pricey, and if you know how to make it at home, you can do it at home with hardly any effort and for a fraction of the price. To get started, you're gonna need some beef marrow bones. You should be able to get them at any butcher shop, but they may not be in the display case, so ask the friendly guys behind the counter for some marrow bones, and they'll probably pull some out of the freezer for you. First thing you need to do with the bones is soak them in cold water for at least six hours and up to 24. The longer you soak them, the more blood will be drawn out and the prettier they'll look in the end. So submerge them in cold water and let them soak. About 20 minutes before you're going to cook your bone marrow, you can make a tasty little pickled salad to go along with it. The first thing to do is slice up an English cucumber, really nice and thin, and add it to a bowl. I like to use English cucumbers because they don't really have big seeds. To the cucumber, add a thinly sliced shallot, and after that, some cilantro. I don't bother to pick all the leaves off of the stems because the stems of cilantro actually have a lot of flavor. I just tear it up with my hands and maybe pick out some of the bigger stems. The acidity of this pickle really helps to cut through the richness of the bone marrow, and it gives it a bright little pop, so I really suggest you try making it. After the cilantro is in the bowl, add a pinch of salt and some chili flakes. I'm using gochugaru, which is a Korean chili flake with more flavor than spice, but if you don't have that, go ahead and add a pinch of red pepper flakes and you'll be good to go. The next thing in is a couple cracks of black pepper and then some sugar. For our acids, we're gonna add some rice vinegar and then the juice of a lime. Mix everything together and then put it in the fridge to let it marinate until you're ready to serve. When you're ready to cook your bone marrow, you wanna set your oven to 450 and put the bones on a foil lined sheet pan. Put them cut side up and try to get them to sit as evenly as possible. Besides the bone marrow and the salad, the last component to this dish is some bread. I use challah or brioche because the richness of the bread goes amazingly with the marrow and the salad. I definitely recommend you try one of the two. Cut your bread into thick one inch slices and put it on the tray with the marrow. If you have fancy salt, now is the time to use it. I'm using Maldon sea salt to pretty heavily salt the marrow before we go ahead and put the entire pan in the oven. Take the bread out after about five minutes when it's nicely browned and then the marrow out after 15. The marrow should be bubbling and the bones lightly browned and that's how you'll know it's ready. When you're going to serve, put the bones and some toast on a plate and top the marrow with some of your pickle. Truthfully, your guests might want some more of the pickle, so make sure you have some extra handy. To eat this, scoop some marrow and salad onto a piece of bread and enjoy. This stuff really is one of the most delicious things you could ever make, and I hope you try it out at home so that you can see just how easy and amazing it is. Let me know how you like your bone marrow in the comments below, and thanks for cooking with me. See you next time. Bye.